Hello, hello, and welcome back once again. Today we'll talk some more about the wonderful automation arsenal of Ammo CRM, that being the triggers, automatic actions capable of helping you streamline your sales process, save time, and of course, increase sales revenue. Our pick this time is the change lead stage trigger. This trigger will help you move leads from one sales pipeline stage to another, based on conditions and parameters you can set yourself. We'll show you how it works first. There's nothing better than a good example, right? So, our beloved web agency has posted a story on Instagram, a promo offer for our loyal followers. It's a week-long promo, nothing too crazy. The idea here is that our followers would react to the story and state their interest in the offer. They do just that. And now we can see their query show up in the incoming lead stage. Let's accept this lead and send them a message. And there we go. We want them to order their order preferences and company info over email, because that's how we roll. The lead responds with just the thing we've requested, as you can see here in the notification center. And would you look at that? The lead has moved to another stage of the pipeline. That's the negotiation stage, the one we use to finalize an offer and get everything ready for a signed contract. Our job here is to send our client an email with the project details and the invoice. After which we need to let our accountant know about it. Once we do this, the change lead stage trigger activates and the lead is moved to the invoice sent stage automatically. Once the purchase is made and the close the conversation button is pressed, the show's over, everyone's happy and the lead is once again automatically moved to closed one stage. Now, this trigger is a basic helper designed to remove the need to move your leads manually from one stage to another. It doesn't have to be the next stage too. You can move them between pipeline stages and pipelines themselves if you've multiple. Let's see what you can do with this trigger and how to set it up. To set up the change lead stage trigger, you need to go to the lead section of your Ammo CRM account and press setup in the upper right corner. To add a trigger, press on an empty cell at any stage of your sales pipeline. We'll do it at the initial contact stage in our case. Select change lead stage trigger and have a look through its available settings. You can set up the conditions, what will trigger the trigger, hee <laughs> hee, and the execute parameter, when it should happen. We'll go with when an email is received because that's what we had in our example use case. Let's choose the pipeline stage here too. Negotiations is the one. We want our lead to keep going, and that's why we do the same thing at the negotiation stage. Click on an empty cell, choose change lead stage trigger, and select the execute condition now, when the responsible user is changed. As you remember, in our use case, that was the moment when our accountant took over to finalize the deal. And where it's going, same pipeline, next stage, simple. Finally, one more similar action, the invoice sent stage. Here we want the lead to be automatically moved to closed one stage. Press on an empty cell, select change lead stage and under execute settings select 5 minutes after the conversation is closed. That means that once the chat is considered over, the lead will move to another stage within 5 minutes. Destination, closed one stage. And that's the entire process we had in our use case before. Yes, this is one of the more basic yet very useful triggers you can find in Ammo CRM's digital pipeline. Analyze your own sales process and try to find the areas that always follow the same pattern when it comes to sales stages. That's where you need this trigger to work. Trust us, once you try it, you'll never want to do lead management manually again. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more automation triggers in the next videos.